There Law we go. Breaker. Yeah. Joshua Courtright. That's me. I could write you a jingle. Hey, thank you for right, saying my name right. How do people say it? Uh, they try to put me on the Ponderosa. They call me Cartwright. And if you oh, and uh, if you understood that reference, congratulations, you're old. <laughs> All right. <laughs> This video is brought to you by Tile. We'll hear more about them later. For now, let's get on to today's video. Welcome to Room 6, the channel dedicated to the local and not so local music scene and the people that make it, including my guests. And my guests today are repeat offenders here on Room 6. They've been downstairs in the kitchen and we had a great time. Uh, I've got two out of the, the four of them today and uh, they are driven, focused, talented, and just all around nice guys, to be honest. But their latest single, Hologram, has over 4 million views on TikTok. They are, they've been previously reviewed here on the channel, both as, for their show and their album, and of course, interviewed. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on all that stuff, and you can watch those videos when you're done here. Please welcome to the channel, Poe the Passenger. Hi guys. Hey, what's hey, up, Josh? Josh. Good to hey, see you again. So like I said in the intro, these are repeat offenders here on Room 6. They've been here before, but if for some reason you're watching this video and you have no idea who Poe the Passenger is, Thank you very much. Go ahead and introduce yourselves. Tell them what you do in the band and who we're missing. Yes, I'm Trent. I play drums. I'm Jeff. I play the vocals. <laughs> I love how you introduce this as repeat offenders. Yeah. I'm not sure how I feel about that, but I think that we've got a clean criminal record. Yes. So do you bring you into my house? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got Matt and Kenny somewhere out there in the universe. So they're, they're, <laughs> they're here the in spirit. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Got, um, got, got, Matt holding down the, the geography side of things. That's geology. Right. Sorry, geology. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Great memory. Don't screw it up. <laughs> yeah, right. Meanwhile, is, is Kenny getting any more love? Kenny gets all the love he could get. Trust me. Yeah, nice. I don't know if we talked about this, but Kenny gets recognized for being in Poe the Passenger out in public, and none of us do, which is hilarious. So Not, if it not even you way. with your AI-generated art? No, <laughs> uh, nothing. I get nothing. Yeah. I get, uh, you know, what's been hilarious right now is people are comparing me to uh, the guy that played Data on Star Trek. <laughs> what? <laughs> um, I mean, I, I can kind of see it, a little bit of Brent Spiner, but but the, the cheekbones, though, yo. Yeah, man. I mean, come on. You don't, you don't just it's get just this me. handsome overnight, man. You, you know what? Work. I mean, you, you with that, that face you like to make in all your publicity shots. Oh yeah, the, the blue, blue steel. steel. Blue steel. But yeah, I, you know what I get from that is some Ben Stiller action. Yes, <laughs> yes. It's, he was just, just in the Super Bowl commercials. Yeah. I know, and that was it. Immediately made me think of Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> That's so great. You've ruined that. all Ben Stiller movies for me. Thank you. <laughs> oh man, I'm happy to do so, man. That's fantastic. Acting one on one, right there. Yes. Was that hair gel? Anyway. So, <laughs> oh no. Yeah. Speaking of speaking of the AI generated pictures of you. Uh, mm -hmm. Let's talk about Hologram, which is, of course, blowing up. You've got over 4 million views on TikTok, and then they made it silent for some reason. Oh, TikTok. Yeah. Anyway, yep. um, how much of that song, how much of what was actually AI involved in it? Or is, or is that just a kind of a you being a marketing genius? No, all, all of it, actually. 100%, yeah. yeah. We, we have zero musical talent, no, Josh. No, we just got... Up. Josh, we got, I mean, if you could automate your job, wouldn't you do it? If you didn't have to do all the editing and everything, you, you Why throw you your three me? camera angles in, <laughs> into some software and it picks the best cuts and everything. You don't have to do anything. You go to work, you do your thing, you come back, it's fully edited. Would you not do that? Um, there's, th there's something for that they call, it's called an editor. Yeah. And, and you pay them to do it, but I, I, I can't yet. So, but, but let's say you wouldn't have to, it's just AI. You throw it into the, this. AI yeah, I know. No, it, it sounds like it, it sounds awesome, but. Then you, what if you're not, ha what if there's something along the way where you're like, oh no, I don't, I don't like that part. Then you got to go do it anyway. And that's, you know? Yeah. But it'll cut down, a you know, on some of the, the time. Point being is we wanted to automate the, the crappy parts about being a musician, you know, the soulless, but you know, writing music, like who, who has time to write music anymore? Yeah, you know, sucks. we're trying to figure out a way to like automate our live performances. We don't like to do that. Yeah. Wasn't it we you just... that wanted to put out a new song every six weeks? Yeah. Yeah. And we're doing that by the way. Yeah. That's actually happening in the because worst, of AI. Because of... 
I don't know. I, you know what? If, if you're watching this and you feel some kind of way about that, down in the comments. Down okay. in the comments. Start a fight. Let's go. Okay. No, no, no. We need to, we need to come clean. Are we putting out a song every six weeks? I think we are going to be doing that. Yeah. Um, we've been writing like hell. And the new song, unfortunately, is not AI generated as much as we would love it to be. <gasps> it was a genius, shattering, genius marketing ploy on Jeff's end. I could yeah. kind of figure, I could kind of tell as I was listening to it. Um, I, 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 by the way, uh, if you want to hear my review of this song, check out, uh, well, it might be up there, but if not, you know, there's, I'll put a, the thumbnail on the screen. You can check it out. No, actually, I'm sorry. I believe the review is coming out uh, the week after this interview. So great. make sure you Good subscribe. Point. Stay tuned. Sorry, my, my schedule is getting really crazy busy. and You're I'm, booked up, dude. I am. And that's good because... If if you gotta have a, a you know domestic bliss destroying hobby, you might as well you know be busy. <laughs> Absolutely, amen to that. But yeah, we we appreciate it. We hope the review is scathing. And, no, uh... <laughs> no, actually, it's it's a solid it's a solid bop, as the kids say. Uh, it, it's yeah. no, I like it. It's it's a lot like your your I'm gonna say old stuff, but you know Alania wasn't that long ago. Mm. Or I'm sorry, Alinea. Alinea, yeah. we figured you, you get it. Uh, Alinea, yeah. Thank you. Uh, you left me a voicemail on my or a voice message on my text, so I, <laughs> I had to remember. Uh, but Alinea wasn't that long ago. This is a lot in that same genre, so to speak, or, mm. or same style of songwriting. But definitely, there's some elements where I could see you're you're trying to uh, experiment and grow, and then the AI in, in, uh, influences in there too. Um, it's it's familiar yet at the same time it's something different so kudos thanks thank you yeah, yeah we uh, as trent uh so poetically described it it's a uh, it's song about imposter syndrome so the Ooh. kind of concept of ai is taking over a lot of artistic venues or i'm sorry avenues rather and as artists i know especially in the design and painting um, illustration community they're very very furious or frustrated with the ai technology because it borrows from th millions of images if not billions of images on the internet um free of use um we thought it'd be controversial to bring up that topic especially with this song that talks about basically a person feeling like ai having this distorted reality between uh, am i really a person and i think that everybody can relate to that at times especially with the digital just nation that we live in it's just so discombobulated to try and talk to anybody young or old it's just everybody's so confused about what's going on and the song is very controversial in that and so why not stir up a little controversy in the comments and um, I actually just rebooted a trend and made it my own. I even say, what's so funny is there's so many haters, which is hilarious. And I'm gonna rec I'm gonna record a response to all the haters on TikTok. So drop us a hate comment on our video. But literally, I shake a bottle and say it's emo tears that I like but that I put into the system, and just people are taking it so seriously, and I love it, and it's fantastic. Oh. Sorry, Zoom's yelling at me because I tried to do something I'm not allowed to do. Let's try that again. Ooh. There we go. There Wild we go. Breaker. Yeah. Joshua Courtright. That's me. Yeah, I thank, you a jingle. Hey, thank you for right, saying my name right. How do people say it? Uh, they try to put me on the Ponderosa. They call me Cartwright. And if you... Oh. And uh, if you understood that reference, congratulations. You're old. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Uh, this is great. So I missed you, dude. Thanks. I miss you guys too. It's. It, I wish I could go out to LA more often. Um, I'll be down there in like April, but just like going to. Oh no, I'm. I'm sorry. We're flying to Miami. Never mind. Uh, <laughs> very, very we're going on a cruise. Going on a cruise, and I was immediately thinking of LA. So, oh. but anywho, just the opposite direction. Yeah, right. A little bit. <laughs> but uh, actually, I have some um, in-laws that are finally moving to San Diego from Kansas City, so I will be down that that burb. And uh, who knows, might be able to coincide with some show you're doing or something. Yeah, yeah, brother. Yeah, that'd be great. Yep, yeah, Serena, man. She's the best. Of course. Um, this is a, again, I thought I was just getting Jeff on this one. So, um, Trent, I, I don't know how you're going to answer this question, but tr Jeff. Let me just do this. Hold on. 
<laughs> Love it. <laughs> just slowly awesome. fade into the background. Oh, nice. Man. So, Jeffrey. Yeah. When can we expect more content on Jeff Ryan TV? Wow, dude. I can't believe you didn't mention it. Did you? I don't, I don't he think mentioned he, it last Did he mention time. it last time? Yeah. Oh, okay. No. Uh, man. You know, uh, my buddy Ryan and I have not delved into the Jeff Ryan TV pool for a long, long time. We've got some stuff in the archives. You know, Linkin Park's releasing stuff from the Meteora days. We've got some rambunctious stuff that's just sitting in the archives that maybe we'll just, you know, let run wild one day. But, um, yeah, we're, we're focused on different things now. Um, I'm so ingrained into Poe the Passenger, and he's so ingrained in his life in San Diego, his film journey. Um, he actually was the uh, director and cinematographer of the Where You Go music video. Um, so he does still keep up with us. He also uh, directed the Heartstrings video. Um, he's a great, great friend, one of my best friends. And uh, we, funny enough, we always make Christmas related content now. <laughs> That's when I usually see him is when I go down to the horse ranch and we shoot something. But not probably for the foreseeable future that you can uh, expect some new Jeff Ryan TV content, but please enjoy my mediocre acting talents on Jeff Ryan TV, especially. Don't on sell TV. yourself short because from a Russian fencer to tiger saving hippie, you've played some interesting characters on the screen. And I'm wondering, are you, are you still getting any acting in at all? Or is this music consumed God, all the time? Oh man, nobody will book me in Hollywood. They hate me. <laughs> That's not true. It's, so he, is that uh, where you get got, the tears? Yeah, <laughs> that's the that's the jar of emo tears, man. He got asked to play a dead body on CIS and didn't get it. So yeah, C CIS. Yeah, and CIS. CIS. I'm sorry. That's oh, okay. I thought, you were miss, I thought you were missing a, uh, CSI. Yeah. No, it's actually C I C I S. It's the YouTube parody. I couldn't even book that. Wow. I don't, I don't know any of those shows, but yeah, and CIS can can play a dead body. He did get a audition for a big film. I don't think we're allowed to talk about that though, right? Oh. You really? know, that's Congrats. I, all, well, yeah, thank you. I appreciate that. I get auditions all the time. I just don't book anything because I'm talentless. But um, <laughs> the self deprecation, the self deprecation, yeah. the imposter no, no, no. syndrome, the yeah, imposter. Hey, man, see why I write songs because I got so many problems. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm very thankful. My agent is fantastic. They gave me some really incredible auditions. And just to be able to say that I've auditioned for some of the things that I've auditioned, I know that. that you know, 13 year old me would be so proud just to be like, dude, you were in that room auditioning for that person is amazing. I don't know if I can talk about this film because it's not out yet. All I'll say, is, and you could probably, you know, figure it out on your own, is that um, it was an Oscar nominated film. It's going to be the sequel. There are some big players in it um, and it's comic book related. Um, that Ooh. probably gives it away already, but I randomly got this audition and they're super secretive about it. Like they changed the title, they changed the scene, but you read it and you're like, this takes place right after the movie that I think that they're talking about. And I was so excited about it because I know Trent loves this movie. So I'm literally like out in downtown LA and I'm like, hey, dude, I have to shoot this audition. I think it's for this film. And he's like, dude, no way. He's at the gym or something. I'm like, hey, can you record the lines and then send them to me so I can like use your voice to like play off of? And he like records it in the gym with like the most amount of acting in his entire body. <laughs> and it, like I thoroughly thought it was a fantastic audition and I just had the best time. It was such a cool bonding experience between the two of us. But um, nevertheless, I don't think I got it. But hey, you know. If you'll get the next one, kid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Come on, Hellboy 3. <laughs> no, no. God, no. Oh, that movie was terrible. Oh, the second man. one. Hellboy 2? Hellboy 2 was awful. I hated it. Ron Perlman or David Harbour? I feel like I just offended you, and I'm sorry. No, 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 no. The Ron Perlman Hellboy is yes. Is yes. The, yeah. so the other... first one? The first one? The first well, one. no, because Ron Perlman was in the second one as well. Mm, right with the, yeah. with the the gold army or whatever that's oh. right that's yeah no, right. no yeah, yeah. That's, i don't think it was that's good a but then the, re the reboot with uh david harbour anybody see that or nah. no no why would i tried, I? I watched the first 20 minutes it was a no-go as well <laughs> oh geez did you walk or you didn't never mind you didn't yeah, go see the home. theater yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> who does that anyway all right um we're going to take a quick little break here because we have a message from future josh so stick around and now a word from our sponsors thanks josh from the past it's a sad fact for musicians on the road 
or just playing at their local bar, a deer gets stolen sometimes because people. Fortunately, there's a way to help get it back. With Tile, you have a backup plan when something needs to be found. Just tap Find in the Tile app. Watch the Tile detector's green rings fill in as you get closer to them. Tile also has lost and found stickers with a QR code full of your contact info. That can be scanned by whoever finds it. If you lose something when you're out and about, Tile can help you locate it. View its most recent location on a map, and it'll show you the last time it was with you or the last time your Tile app was able to locate it. You can also tap Notify when found so the Tile network, which is every phone running the Tile app and their network extenders, can help locate the lost item. Each device on the network is able to help locate Tile trackers and send location updates to your Tile app. Anonymously, of course. And with Premium Protect Plan, Tile will even reimburse you if something can't be found. Just for watching this video, and for being part of Room 6, and for a limited time only, you can use my affiliate link down in the description to get peace of mind and save some cash. Plus, you'll be helping out the channel. Thanks to Tile for being a sponsor, and let's get back to the show. We're back. So, home slices. What's up? Wait a minute. Wrong camera. There we go. Uh, I'm a professional. <laughs> Us too, man. So, what is on the horizon for Poe the Passenger aside from, you know, making a fake AI song? Ooh. It cuts deep, dude. Yeah. Hey, you yeah, said man. it, not me. <laughs> it's like it. a yeah, knife. Yeah. Yeah, man. Um, well, we're just going to ride out the virality, cash in some checks, and then spend some time in Dubai, Call pretty much. Um, yeah. Yeah, no, we're, we're having a fun fun time building the community. It's been really cool. It's boosted the exposure. A lot of people have found our debut album, Millennia, which has been fantastic. Um, that sparked us to reach into the archives, so to speak, uh, like Linkin Park is doing with Meteora. And we're actually, we finished two songs from the Alinea writing uh, process and we're going to release those as a deluxe at the end of March. Um, but I don't want to talk about it entirely myself. So why don't you pick it up, Trent? Yeah, no, we finished those songs a couple, like a month or two ago and just really excited to put out a deluxe edition for Alinea because the success of Alinea has just been insane. Um, I think it has over 2 million plays as of now. And yeah. We're just so, so proud of it. And you know, what's amazing about the whole hologram thing is that, you know, people, a lot of people have discovered us on TikTok now. It sounds kind of cheesy or braggadocious. And, you know, over the past month, I think we've gained maybe 50,000 followers on, on TikTok. And they're all asking about hologram, but since it's not out yet, it comes out on Friday. And we've been able to tell them, hey, go check out Alinea, our debut album. So now, all these people that previously hadn't listened to it are listening to it now and and get to hear all the hard work and our, our blood, sweat, and tears that we've put into it, and they seem to be really enjoying it. So really excited for, for us to put out a deluxe edition and have people critique that and shit on it and love it and <laughs> do whatever they want with it. You should yeah. be excited about it. It's, it's a solidly produced piece. I mean, it's very polished, and it's not overly produced, which is very easy to do. Yeah. Um, and I just want to say, at by the way, at time of recording, well, not time of recording. When this, when you're watching this interview, it came out yesterday. So this is going to drop on Saturday the 18th. Saturday. Nice. Okay. Uh, that's, that's, yeah, I'm going to use a little AI, a little magic, a little, a little Zoom, you know. But definitely, definitely, there will be a link down in the description for all their, their, all their social media stuff, all their links, but also a, a purchase link for Hologram. And um, from there, you can find, you know, Alinea and all their other stuff. So definitely, definitely check it out because... I, uh, at least once a week, I find myself without just walking around going, I've never been a person. <laughs> yes. yes. So fantastic. you got the earworm. You got the earworm, definitely. Got um, the earworm, baby. That, and can we skip to the sweet talk? <laughs> <laughs> yes. I will say, though, the timing on that, all I, in my head, I keep going, can we skip to the good part? But, you know, that's TikTok. Hey. Yeah. That's that's how it works, baby. Right. And what's cool is actually this is the first time we're talking about the deluxe edition, which is nobody knows that it's coming out. So that's Ooh. kind of a fun little Easter egg about this interview. Room six We've exclusive. Actually, yeah, room six exclusive. We've actually never said the titles of the songs, I think, in any interview. So you're going to be getting two new Poe the Passenger songs from the Alinea era, and they are Limbo and Marathon. We we do one word titles for some reason, but... Um, you do. Yeah, you do. We're very excited. Actually, and, I think we lied. I think... Marathon was written after Alinea and oh, really? Limbo was written, written during and 
Limbo, we were actually, we were bringing it to our producer, Karnig Manukian, and literally like minutes before we started the session, there was a huge like debate argument on what songs we were actually going to do. And we changed two of the songs. Limbo was one of the songs that we were going to do. Oh, that's right. And we changed to Strangers, which was very newly written. And we had we, written it a couple of days ago. We had written like a couple. Fire. Yeah. And I, maybe had one other song. Oh, Cold California. Cold probably. California. And then yeah. Marathon was on the chopping block when we were in the studio with one of our other producers, James Kaufman, or Jim Kaufman as he goes by. And that's where we recorded Spirit and Happy When. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, no, no. That was when we did Be Somebody, Be somebody. which is another song that you actually don't know anything about. Sorry. Yeah. That's on the You don't know song. anything about it. Yeah. We went down a rabbit hole Typical. there. No, no, that's what I love. So okay, good. Um, it's funny because uh, we were, we were talking off camera how you know I'm getting a little busy with Room Six and that's awesome and all. Oh, yeah. um, by the way, if that sponsor spot interests you at all, the best way you can help support the channel is clicking that link. If you're gonna you know use that service and get that product anyway, click the link. Help me out. It'll help me make better videos and help out you know musicians such as Bo the Passenger, with, uh, you. you know, whatever, any way I can. That being said, um, I wanted to talk real quickly about your, uh, what, how do I phrase this? I want to talk Hold about, we live. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, actually, before that, sorry, my train of thought derailed, and you know, dead bodies everywhere. Um, <laughs> what... <laughs> I actually had an interview earlier today in the kitchen with another artist from LA who's in town on, on tour. Oh, cool. so who's that? Yeah, I thought it was very, that's why I had to reschedule everything with you and, and then unschedule uh, the reschedule and everything. Uh, his name's Otis Julius and he's actually oh. a punk rock inspired hip hop, hip hop artist. Okay. Sick. Otis Julius. Yeah. Otis Julius. I love it. And, and Sick. he is, um, it, he's, it, it was pretty amazing because I had reviewed one, uh, his album he reached out to me and I had reviewed his album, but I'd never like met him or anything. So to, to be interviewing somebody in person that you, you would just, you know, been back and forth on social media. It was, it was kind of nice. Um, and he's got a show tomorrow at uh, evil pie, which is a pizza place here that puts on live music. And that's going to be awesome. I hope <laughs> for his case, for his music, sake. man, that should be great. And, but the other thing I wanted to ask because we are, well, we're not, we got some time. The other thing I wanted to ask was, uh, Trent, yes. I, for, I forget, before Poe the Passenger, were you in any other acts? Yeah, oh my God, I was in a ton of shitty bands. So many. <laughs> so Go hold many. back, how do you feel? Oh gosh, I feel so much better about this band. Just, I mean, I was in so many bands growing up. I started in a cover band. Um, we played just the most random covers. Like we played, played Danny California followed by the ocean by Led Zeppelin followed by money by Pink Floyd. We just had no identity whatsoever, but you know, our, my, our claim to fame is winning battle of the bands at my high school. Um, we had this other band called Copperhead. That was a metal band that completely blew us out of the water. They had all the professional equipment. They actually knew how to play their instruments, which was great. <laughs> And they completely blew us out of the water, but you know, it's a popularity contest. So we ended up winning and I won some money to guitar center that I bought like some sticks with or something like that. <laughs> and some money from, uh, for T crate and barrel. And I actually bought this trash can years and years ago that is sitting right at my feet. Wow. So it all comes full <laughs> circle here, but yeah, that was, that was one of the crappy bands. And then to add to that, the, the band Copperhead, the drummer for that band, I always looked up to him. He was way better than me. Uh, was this guy Chris Lucas, who mixed and mastered no a lot of our early music. He mixed and mastered "Sweet Talk," um, "Can't Keep You From Me," um, a bunch of stuff off "Lose Control." Lose yeah. Control. I mean, a bunch of songs by us. So it was just so interesting how we're connected there. Uh, then I, I joined my first serious band called Open Daylight. And we were just so bad. We were awful, awful. <laughs> we would practice like once once before a show. We'd practice like the month before a show. And then we'd play like shit. And I'd be like, what'd you guys expect? Like, this is bound to happen. And I guess people's hearts weren't in it or people just didn't have a work ethic. And I always felt myself taking it super seriously and wanting to treat it like a sport and be like, hey, we got to put in the time, put in more time than other bands are doing to be taken just a little bit seriously. And 
I, I think maybe the other people didn't know that or just their hearts weren't in it. And it caused a lot of frustration for me. So I kind of played in a couple other bands here and there, played in another rock band with the, this gentleman I, I met at work uh, called the Local Rock Star. And, you know, that kind of was the name of the band. Away. Local rock star, yeah. yeah right. Ch Chad Hines was the singer, also a former drummer that ended up writing and recording all his music. That kind of inspired me to not just be a drummer anymore, to be a songwriter and somebody that actually contributes to the songwriting. So um, I owe him a lot for that. But he ended up starting a family and moving back home to North Carolina. And I just kind of petered along, not knowing if I still wanted to, to do music. But I, I did a lot of music production in college. And that's where a lot of my songwriting chops started and just wrote some god awful songs and then met Jeff and we just wrote more bad songs and then they slowly got less bad. Yeah. And then now we have holograms. So which is hilarious because we were both terrible songwriters. We're so like, bad. we can do this. And eventually we got to the point where we, you know, programmed an AI to write a song for us. So yeah. you know. Yeah. Comes programmed. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so that, people are so mad about that, by the way. Have you, look, have you seen the comments? They think they're like they figured something about out. Three months ago, I uh, pro programmed an AI with a thousand hours, <laughs> <laughs> and people are like I could see his lips moving to the song. He's heard it already. He didn't program the AI. But the best part of all that is that you know, of course, you know, I follow uh, your your TikTok account, and <laughs> uh, Angela, I think from uh, Attic Echo. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, is is you know emailing me saying like oh Tiffany blah, blah, Tiffany blah. Tiffany I'm sorry sorry Tiffany where, where did I get Angela from I don't know uh, sorry mm -hmm. Tiffany but Tiffany emailed me and is like blah 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 format and I'm like I'm aware <laughs> <laughs> I've seen it I, 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 I see it yes I, I I'm well aware of his of their little ploy um, yes. I did like the whole trapped in the car thing that was fun that was a good bit yeah, yeah. that was good I am still trapped in the car dude I don't I don't live in this apartment what are you uh, talking about what I want to know is how come we're not seeing any Matt and Kenny in the in the TikToks. Yeah, I think you want to take this. Oh no, okay. I was just gonna say. I mean, this is the star power. <laughs> this is the star. <laughs> this is the money. <laughs> oh. I'm just kidding. No, those guys are hilarious. Naturally hilarious, especially they're, Kenny. They're they're funny. I mean, Jeff and I still live together, so it's just super easy. And I think yeah. Matt and Kenny have like they're not really social media people, and they've kind of taken a step back, and they want to play more live and kind of be less involved with social media and songwriting and kind of like the day to day band stuff and. We're totally fine with that. I mean, Jeff's the face of the band, so it kind of makes sense that he takes over. Well, yeah, I'm not booking any acting gigs, so I got plenty of time to, yeah. you know, shoot TikToks. Yeah, and that's, I mean, the amount of, act, the the level of acting quality that TikTok has allowed uh, people to, to see from people who you never would have seen otherwise is really amazing. There, there are a lot of uh, content creators where I'm just like, why are you not signed to something? Why are you not, you know, a, a household name? Yeah. because you're putting out tiktoks that are like quality by yourself with multiple parts you know <laughs> that you're playing um you know call me chris is a good example so i we're we're um we're running a, a little bit out of time here because it is a zoom yeah i know but, yes but um i thought it was funny that you mentioned about the battle of the bands Trent, because i also i sang in a band where we we were okay, <laughs> but um, when you have a, a rock band that every member of the band, with the exception of the singer, was in band at school, like mm. so the lead guitarist played trumpet, you know that kind of thing. Uh, we were good. I mean, we were we were good, but we we actually won as well and got like two hundred bucks a piece or whatever it was. Um, I think we got like a thousand bucks for a five member band, and we were like, wow, that was that was awesome. But the peak. The, the the claim to fame is that the band we beat, one of the bands we beat, went on to become Switchfoot. No, no way! Yeah, so that's amazing. And I was just like, and why didn't we stay together? It's because they all went to college. When I met them, I, I was twenty two, and they were eighteen, nineteen, and they're like, we're just gonna be like a party band, or whatever, and that's it. So wow. Holy so with that, you're gonna hold on to that for the rest of your life. Oh, you have no idea. Every time I heard a Switchfoot song, I was like, I beat you! Beat you! <laughs> I'm better than that song. That's amazing. Da -da -da -da. Right on. So, with that, Joshua I thank you. Right, Joshua. They were like, no, the no, whole no. time they're playing, that, they're, just, they're just like, eat it, brother. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, they, they don't know who I am. Anyway, that, you know, it would be funny if they were 
but they're not together still, right? So I think they are. I think they are. I looked them up the other day. If I could get them on the channel, I could pull out that little chestnut at the right time. (laughs) Do you remember playing? (laughs) They're going to be like, no, that never happened. I I would get like, get a few drinks in them. Just wait, you know. (laughs) Classic. That'd be hilarious. Anyway, uh, thank you very much for being on the channel. Thank you very much for watching. I, I appreciate all of you. I appreciate all the acts that have been on the channel. And with that, I want to thank Poe the Passenger, and Trent, and Jeff, and Matt, and Kenny, all of them, for being part of the Room 6 family. And if you want to be on the channel, whether reviewed, interviewed, or both, hit me up using my email address down in the description. We'll have a good time. Or click the Room 6 social media link. That's where you can find me all over the place. And also ways you can support the channel, such as my merch. This says, I make music. What's your superpower? And Mm -hmm. uh, I got other stuff. It's at room6.shop. Or I got my own CDs. I got, you know, uh, Patreon. You can do that. It all helps, and um, I don't keep a dime of it. It all goes back into the channel in some way, shape, or form into the local music scene. That being said, we're going to see, I believe, are we going to see Hologram? Yeah. Heck yeah, yeah, yeah of course. Cool, Let's cool. Do it. So we're going to see Hologram uh, one day after it drops. Uh, check out the music video. We'll see you after the outro. And uh, I guess temporarily say goodbye, guys. Bye temporarily. Bye. <laughs> Boo. Nice. Killed it. I don't really know who to trust now. I've never been a person with the upper I'm always building castles in an hourglass. Every kiss is so sacred. It boosts and understands that the memories are made of sand. You see through the water and the ground. I want to thank my guests from Poe the Passenger for visiting today. It was a great interview and a great music video. Make sure that you click that link down in the description so you get your own copy of Hologram. And while you're at it, pick up their album, Alania. It is awesome. In the meantime, if you want to see more videos like this, please click up there. If you'd like to hear my own music, click over there. And if you'd like to subscribe, it really would mean the world to me. Please click up there and don't forget to ring the bell. It all helps, and I appreciate you. Remember to be amazing, and we'll see you next time on Room 6.